An important warning before we go any further. This next story involves a rape survivor who describes her attack and it may not be suitable to all viewers. The man convicted of raping her is now accused of killing six people before killing himself. Jesse McFadden was convicted of rape in 2003, and tonight the victim from 20 years ago says she has guilt about what happened at his Henrietta home last week. She now wants to come forward with her story. News Force Kaylee Olivas is on the story tonight. Well, in our research, we found this letter Jesse McFadden wrote to a judge pleading for a lesser sentence in his 2003 rape conviction. In the letter, he says he could be a better person, that he wanted a chance to start a new life outside of jail. But the victim in his case says she doesn't believe a word he wrote. And last week's murder-suicide is a prime example of that. It's just crazy that this happened. Like, I'm pissed. And I'm sad and I'm mad. It's been a culmination of feelings for Crystal Strong in the last week. She has known Jesse McFadden since she was a teenager. She feels like she could have stopped him from killing five kids and his wife. I could have drove there and I could have warned people. I would have put flyers up like I would have stopped this a long time ago. I feel somewhat guilty. When she was 16 years old, she was raped by McFadden. Even though it happened in 2003, she remembers it just like it was yesterday. I was tied up to all the metal poles of it. Um, with just different bungee cords of my dad's, different um, like belts, just whatever he could find. A knife held to my throat uh, because I was screaming so loud. He's like, if you don't quit screaming, he's like, B, I'm going to kill you right here. Court records show then 21-year-old McFadden was convicted of rape and sentenced to 20 years in prison. 11 months later, and he's already writing a letter to the judge asking for a lesser sentence. In that letter, he talks about the pain he must have caused Strong and her family. Quote, no matter how much I'd like to, there's no changing the past. So he begged for a second chance to turn his life around, adding, quote, the longer that I'm locked up, the harder it is going to be for me to make a decent living. That judge denied his request, and so he stayed locked up, completing the required 85% of his sentence, which was only 17 years. Strong says McFadden should have served life in prison, and because he didn't, the judicial system has failed everyone involved. God gives us strongest warriors the toughest battles. So maybe, maybe that's why everything happened the way it did. I don't know. Well, as you can see behind me, the gate to Jesse McFadden's property is wide open and there's no crime scene tape. So we asked the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation if it's still an active scene, but they wouldn't tell us anything other than it's still an ongoing investigation.